Jaffna district is the northern end of the northern province of Sri Lanka, about 420 kilometers away from Colombo. It consists of the peninsula and seven inhabited islands. Jaffa is one of the rapidly growing cities in the post-conflict era. It has a long historical and archaeological view in its rich history. There are four communities practicing different religions and living together in peace and harmony. Jaffna has its own rich and colorful culture and tradition. It has unique fruits and the people have their own food heritage. The district secretary is an executive officer for the entire district. The government administration works at the levels of central, provincial, district, divisions and village level. Jaffna district is divided into 15 administrative divisions and further into 435 gram officers divisions in this district. Agriculture sector is a leading sector in Jaffa district. About one third of the population in this district solely depending on agriculture including livestock. It is noteworthy to mention that approximately 2,000 hectares of land is being used for agriculture after the end of the conflict.
Most of the farmers depend on animal husbandry for their livelihood, but not in a large scale. The livestock sector is an important component of the farming system. Backyard poultry and rearing milking cows and goat for milk and meat generate additional income for the farmers. The seasonal rivers add richness to the beauty of Jaffna. The fishing industry engages many people in the district due to the vast extent of its sea area and the large number of lagoons situated along the coast. At present, it is 45,000 metric tons, which is a vast improvement when compared to 2008-2009, which was 10,000 metric tons only. There is ample opportunity for investors to provide ancillary services to the industry such as seafood processing for export. After the end of the conflict, the government has taken initiatives to support the investors by providing crown lands for industrialists, and this is now on the growing side. The long tradition of dedication to education and resulting high priority given to education from colonial period, Jaffna has been one of the districts with high literacy rate in Sri Lanka. Education is one of the major concerns for the people of Jaffna district. Three main health institutions are functioning in Jaffna district. There are Jaffna Teaching Hospital, a Regional Director of Health Services and Ayurvedic Teaching Hospital. Jaffna Teaching Hospital is the main public health and medical institution for the people of Northern Province and for teaching of medical students of the University of Jaffna and nursing and midwife students. The housing schemes and the water supply have become very essential in the post-conflict era. Though the government is fulfilling these requirements, it is also making a lot of efforts to the betterment and uplift the standard of living. To ease the transport for the public, the land route transportation is expanded. And in order to expand the tree route transportation, plenty of schemes are going to be implemented. It is pertinent to mention that the homecoming of Yaldavi is taking place after 24 long years. Ninety-six percentage of the population of Jaffna district is consuming the services of CEB. 
it is expected to be 100 percentage in the near future. The Sri Lanka Telecom connects Jaffna with the whole world. Jaffna attracts many private investors nowadays. The lifestyle of the local public is enriched as a result of the employment provided by the private investors. Jaffna has immense potential for tourism and hotel industry. Three types of places such as historical, natural and religious places attracts the tourists. The glory of Jaffna will be back soon.